okay guys let me do a quick comparison between these two earphones now this is the the new nd nice earphone and then this is their new dd3 this is just a very quick comparison so you know the difference between these two sets before you purchase any of the two if you want to buy or you're contemplating buying any of the two this is a hybrid the, the the nice version is a hybrid this comes with one dynamic driver and one balance amateur driver for the most part you'll be cool with what it's going to be able to give you in terms of performance um but then again the sound quality on it isn't very very good um the bass is fine uh it is fine enough that i can enjoy it because it hits hard it's, you can easily tell it's a v-shaped uh, earphone the problem i had uh with this set immediately was the mids uh the mids was so shrill um maybe it could be uh it could be just because of the driver quality isn't that very good but i can tell that the mids were shrill the highs were a bit shrill um it was a bit wonky to listen to i just didn't like it sounded metallic and the problem with metallic sounding earphones is that it all has to do with the driver inside as handling those frequency once the balance amateur drivers is handling your vocals there's a chance strong chance, and if it's not a very good balance amateur driver there's a strong chance you will start having that metallic sound where it sounds so fake i'll use the, the word fake um, the voice doesn't sound natural the way a human voice should be like sounds a little bit uh, fake uh, that's what the, this particular nice version does to you when you are listening to it uh this particular model the dd3 i like this dd3 i really do um the dd3 isn't great isn't perfect isn't amazing but what it does well is that it's a neutral set it's balanced it's just like this sort of moon drop kind of earphone where it's very neutral there's no emphasis in any of the regions like bass mates or treble everything is just balanced out so if you make some monitor or maybe you work in a studio or you just want something very affordable and you love the cable you want something that will come with a very good cable then this is the set i would highly recommend because it's a very neutral set that you could work with it in a studio. Uh, it's it, it doesn't emphasize anything. It just reminds me of just like a studio monitor or a studio headphone. Like that, it's dry. It doesn't really have any fun tuning to it. And that's the problem I had with it when I listened to it for the very first time. I just felt that maybe it's lacking a little bit of uh, fun. Uh, it doesn't have bass to wow you. It doesn't have a lot of uh, maybe mid bass. It doesn't have a lot of uh, maybe thick mids to entice you into the music. But then again, it's dynamic drivers that are handling all this frequency. So I I'm expecting for it to have a little bit more of these things I'm looking for. But it doesn't have any more of these things I'm looking for which is a bit uh, weird. Uh, but then again, what I will say is that this set is very, very well done. Uh, it's very well done and I prefer it uh, over the nice version. The, the nice version seemed to be a very affordable set that might be very easy for a lot of people to afford and pay for. For me, at the moment, I will easily prefer the DD3 because the DD3 at least will give me clarity give me small bass but at least i can still hear the bass it's not going to be hard hitting it's not going to really give you that emotions that you feel from very top end level events it's not going to give you that but what it can give you is detailed clarity uh, so this is one thing I can attribute to these these earphones right now. And I can tell you guys that it's a very good set uh, regardless. So I'm going to drop details for you guys to check out these new sets down below if you're interested in it. Do subscribe to the channel. Do like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.